This is the ultimate Billy Guide. How y'all doing? Welcome back to Mobile Trash. We're back with some more ZZZ content. Welcome to the show. We've been covering Zenlo Zone Zero for a little bit now. And yeah, I got a little guide here because Billy the Kid is one of my favorite units that I played. He's a free unit you get at the beginning. And for a free unit, he is pretty cracked in my opinion. This man has a really fun gameplay style. I really love just shooting around with him and all that type of stuff. Billy is definitely one of my favorite, 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 favorite gosh darn dang units. In my humble gosh darn dang opinion. Now I'm going to be giving you a little quick a little Billy guide here. We're going to be going over everything. What's the best units to use for him. Um, you know, all the stuff you're going to need. We'll go over what he does, what he doesn't do, and all that type of stuff. We got some points that I enjoy from Billy. We got all kinds of stuff today. So, guys, if you're new here, if you're on YouTube, Spotify, if you're new here, if you're on Pandora, wherever you get your podcasts at, make sure you follow. Turn on notifications because we're dropping Zenless Zone Zero content all week. So, we will be coming out with more stuff soon. Welcome to the show. We're going to get into it talking about Billy the Kid. We got some things we're going to go over, and yeah, I'll give you the best build. What's the best build? What's the best stuff to use for them? Best drive disc? All that type of stuff. I mean, we're going to go over gosh darn dang everything. So, let's get into it. So, some of the best things Billy has, some of the strengths that he has, is he can deal damage safely from a distance. And what do I mean by that? While these bosses are coming at you, they're coming to kill you, they're kind of doing their thing, or... Or just standing there. You know how ZZZ is with their mobs. <laughs> but anyways, Billy the Kid can safely, safely take enemies out. He's a shooting type unit. Um, you can you can literally just hold down the attack button and then he'll just spray bullets like crazy. Boom, 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 boom. Spraying every gosh darn dang unit you can see. Um, so it's really great if you're just wanting to dodge around and just get some quick damage off and you want to swap off. And he's a really great unit to just swap off, do some good damage, swap off, do some good damage, swap off. He's one of those good units. And if you want to use him like me, you want to use him, if you want to use him like full time like I'm doing, um, he's a really great just damage unit. I mean, you can just sprint around the whole area just shooting and shooting, dodging and dodging. He's a really great unit if you just want to dodge around, do damage, dodge around, do damage. He's a really great at doing that. Um, he deals he deals more damage when holding his basic attack, which is really great. You know, if you can pop off the ult, then you can hold his basic attack and just do just uh, just these damage numbers just stacking up. These damage numbers just keep stacking and stacking and stacking up, and he is really great at doing that. In my gosh darn dang opinion, um, Billy Billy's one of my favorite units. I mean, his design looks great. I like the combat style and all that stuff. Now, one of the cool things about Billy is that is that after his extra burst damage, he has this kind of extra burst damage after using his ultimate and popping off that chain attack. Man, and I love this burst damage because when you actually pop it off and you actually put this damage on the field, oh my lord, you're seeing big numbers with Billy. I mean, Billy can really do some damage. When you can pop that chain off attack, it is some of the best stuff that I've seen in my gosh darn dang opinion. Now, some of the negatives about Billy is that yes, when you when yes, holding the basic attack button and doing that extra extra damage, just those numbers piling on those enemies, you do have to stand still doing it. And when these when some of these bosses or some of these enemies are running towards you, Billy might not be the best option if a boss is just running towards you the whole time. If a boss or that one, or that one highly uh, boss, or whatever that just teleports around the map. Um, if you were going against that boss, Billy the Kid might not be the best. But I will say this though: if you can pull, if you can pull off some dodges, and you can run around the map too, pop off dodges, pop off damage, and maybe when the mob, because uh, some of these mobs, you know, as you keep dodging, you keep dodging, and and if you have a stun, if you have a if you have a unit that can stun the enemies. As the enemy is stunned, it's just standing there. You can bring out Billy, and Billy will just, you know, stand still, boom, do a bunch of damage, pop off his ult, 
pop off his uh his uh, charge attack and all that type of stuff and just keep piling on more damage and more damage which billy is really great at doing at that but that is a weakness though you do have to be standing still and again if the boss is running at you i mean you're done <laughs> i don't know what to say you know <laughs> it's over but you know in the early game i mean these enemies doing damage on you you're gonna be fine <laughs> now the only bad thing right now as we're in the early game we're in the early early stage of the game we don't have any big dps units out right now so billy the kid can't really shine through too much here but with the units that we have yeah the, uh, the units we have he does do pretty decently i know when i'm playing when he's on my teams he's pretty decent on his teams um he can definitely chain a bunch of attacks with a lot of units and stuff like that and pop off and do a bunch more damage. But I will say this, if he had like a really if we had a really great physical attack DPS that can just lock and stun the and just throw these enemies down, uh, and then we jump in Billy with that kind of sub DPS type damage there. Um, that's definitely what we're lacking, 110%. And a lot of units are lacking a DPS unit as their ability, which I don't know why they dropped all these units and then they, they didn't bring any more DP. They didn't start out with some DPS units, but it's whatever, you know, we'll have to wait for updates to get more units as the, you know, as the days go, as, as the updates and the years or whatever goes by. That's kind of disappointing. Billy is a physical attack character who acts as team as the team's main DPS. His kit allows him to inflict damage from a distance and boost his damage when using his base attack and chain attack, which I really really like. Um, his weapon, his best his best little weapon here is the Starlight Engine replica. You can easily get this. It's like a four star. It's like a four star weapon, and it's his best thing. I'm using that on him, and he's doing great damage. He's He's popping off pretty good when I use him. Um, so for uh, now, sorry. Now, what does the starlight do? It increases the equipper's physical damage and the target by thirty six percent, or for eight seconds, upon in hitting the enemy at least six meters away with basic attack or dash attack. Now, 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 now. There is there is some other there are some other weapons that you could use, but base but you want to but you want that thirty percent you want that thirty six percent because some of these are only three point five, some of these are only twenty percent, um some of these are only fifteen percent so you you definitely want that you definitely want that, um the best set for him is definitely the purify electro set, purify electro increases bil ability's pin ratio ultimate damage and attack which is greater overall damage boost and his ultimate gets a further d damage increase after using his chain attack so that's definitely going to be definitely a benefit there um now a good free to play team is definitely it's definitely going to be the main team that you can get billy nicole and ambi you got these people support ambi's a good stun soldier 11's also a better ambi um, you can just use the basic, uh, the, you can use the bag boo. Um, but yeah, I think, I, I think the only thing that's bad about Billy is that we don't have a main DPS to really shine because Billy, I don't think is meant for the main DPS type thing. In my humble opinion, I think he's more of a sub DPS in my opinion, so we don't really have a good physical damage um, because if we had that, if we had a good physical damage DPS, we had, boom, then we had Billy. He's a pretty good sub DPS. Then if you had Ambi or Soldier 11 that can stun these enemies and just put these enemies to the side while you can switch to Billy and do a bunch of damage, we don't really have that yet. But once you do get that, once we do get that, I mean, Billy's going to be definitely up there. He's going to... He's going to be up there definitely, 110%. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that helps you out. Anyways, Billy's a really good unit. Are you enjoying him? Are you hating him? I don't know. Let me know. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you all later. You have a good one. Bye.